Start a business with no money, no stock, pay yourself nothing, give everything away, and that's the Parker Street Food Bank and Mel Boutelier. Mel Boutelier believes that it's more important to give someone a hand up than a hand out. Mel Boutelier is, uh, in, in, in my mind, uh, the epitome of a visionary. He's totally selfless. Everything he does is for others and not for himself. And that's the mark of a great man. The list of his accomplishments or the things that he's done for man uh, humanitarian reasons would, again, would start with the Sandy Lake School. He can see something uh, where other people can't and see a need and, and see a solution to, to, to that problem. And, and uh, certainly Sandy Lake Academy um, not having a facility and needing um, a new location to have this school, uh, he saw it where other people saw something that was impossible, something that couldn't happen. For a small group of people, he really worked so hard to have that accomplished. Because we are a private school and we charge tuition, there's many people that wouldn't be able to come in, and he's been able to help them uh, get here um, by finding sponsorship or actually providing sponsorship himself. He's a vortex of energy. And if your feet aren't well grounded, you'll be sucked into that vortex. As soon as you meet Mel, he casts a spell on you, and the spell of Mel makes you want to help and give and just keep going. He is absolutely and totally devoted to his wife, Thelma. If Melvin is a visionary, uh, often Thelma is the architect. Melvin would be the first to say he could do nothing without Thelma, and I believe that. I have seen Mel change the lives of tens of thousands of people. I wouldn't be able to begin to count, for example, the numbers of families that he has come in contact with, not just simply because they were um, clients of the Parker Street Food and Furniture Bank, but because beyond those uh, almost um, incidental contacts, he got involved deeply in the concerns and the activities of those families' lives. If you train a mom or a dad, then you fix the whole family, and that in turn fixes the community. It's a ripple effect, I guess, starting in Halifax, Nova Scotia, Canada, and it just keeps on going, and not particularly just through the larger entity of the Food and Furniture Bank. It's, it's their own compassion, personal compassion to those on a more personal level. Congratulations, Mel, on, on this award. And I just want to wish you all the best, and they couldn't have picked a better person than you. I love you, Mel. I cannot imagine this award being given to anybody that it deserves it more. May the road rise up to meet you. May the wind be always at your back. May the gentle rains fall upon your fields. May the sun shine upon your countenance. And may the good Lord hold you and Thelma in the palm of his hand forever. God bless you, my dear friend Mel. I love you. Congratulations. And uh, let's get to work tomorrow, should we? <laughs>